Hey guys, welcome back to Binos Esther Malka's channel. On today's game review, we are going to review the game Triominoes. If you're new to this channel, you are definitely going, going to want to like and subscribe because every week we share a new game review. So we're going to start off with an unboxing to kind of go through what's in this game Triominoes. Then I'm going to head over to the table where we're going to go through a gameplay so you guys will see if this is a game for your library or not. And last, we're gonna end with my overall opinion and what I think of, in this case, triaminos. So, the first thing I wanna point out is, ooh, loud game, but cute box. It is a triangle, hence triaminos. Now, I actually have two feelings on this. First of all, I love it. I mean, look how cute. It's a play on words. Triaminos, triangle game. Oh, give this video a thumbs up if you like this cute idea. But I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to games. And in our game closet, where I actually store my personal games, everything is stored by geometric shape and size. Hence, rectangles together, squares together, big squares and small squares together. And this game just doesn't fit. So it kind of took a little bit of creative thinking to put triaminos on the shelf, but oh well. Like I said, love the box design. There is the name of the game on the side, so if you want to stick it in standing up, which it fits, then you'll know exactly what game you're going to take out. So for the inside of the box, okay, so of course we have the instructions. The instructions I found pretty decent. You know, they weren't too overwhelming. They were kind of simple, straightforward. This is a very straightforward game. Love that. And then of course you have the diagram to kind of see how you play. So that was nice. You have the game tiles. These tiles are super solid. I'm gonna try to find the link to this version below. A little more expensive, but if not, I'm gonna link below a version because this game overall is fantastic. So you have these um, tiles. They, they are actually etched in the numbers. They are numbers one through five. And then it has a raised, I guess, decoration on it, for lack of better words. And then, of course, we have the tile holders, which this is a really nice feature because not all of the games that I've seen or actually had had this tile holder. So you just put the tiles like that. So if you made it this far, which I hope you have, give this video a thumbs up and let's head over to the table to play Triaminos. So the good news is playing Triaminos is fairly simple. You basically flip over the tiles and you draft seven. Now they do say depending on how many players, you could draft nine tiles. Seven always worked for us, so we always drafted seven. Anyway, you draft seven tiles, which brings me something I'd like to point out. As you could see, they have this really nice design over here. They don't really lay so flat on the table, but you know what? It doesn't really bother us. It's just kind of annoying when you flip them over, but just something you should know. Anyway, so you take one tile, you flip it over, and the goal of the game is to match the tiles. As you could see here, ooh, I have nothing. So I will pick one up, and the next player will go. Oh, and then I have a match, so I don't pick one up. Do I have ooh, three? Oh, do I have it? I do. And as you could see, you just keep going and playing and trying to get rid of all of your tiles. Just give it a quick scan. Don't see anything. Okay, so I pick one up. Now, game is really simple. And again, the player to clear their board first is the winner. As you could see here. It's kind of like dominoes, but just with the three sides. But anybody who knows me knows I'm all into education. So just two educational tips to kind of help you guys bring this to the next level, if you'd like. The first tip is before playing a tile, we would actually add it together. Five, six, and I would play that with six. Two, three, four, basic addition, and so on and so forth. Two, four, six. And like I said, we're reviewing addition. And then we can always do multiplication. Um, for the kids who, oh, uh, oh yeah, I have a match. <laughs> for the kids who are learning multiplication, 
you could do 5 and 2 is uh, 10, and 10 and 5 is 50. So as they play, you can always add the math to the game, which is a lot of fun because you know what? We can have fun and we could do math review at the same time. You're the best player win. Give this video a thumbs up if you are the best player and you've actually won Triaminos. So what do I think of the game Triaminos? One being love it, two being you decide, and three being not so much. I'm actually gonna give this video a thumbs up and tell you I enjoy Triaminos for many reasons. First of all, as a game, it's just so relaxing. You're drafting your tiles, either you have a match or you don't. And guess what? I know you didn't see it when I played, but there are so many times where I thought I had a match and it tricked me because the numbers were backward in reverse or blocked off and I'm like, oh, I almost had it. I like those mind tricks. It's a simple game. And of course I like it because depending on who I'm playing with, if I'm playing with adults, this is a nice relaxing game. But if I'm playing with kids, we could slip in addition and multiplication review. And quite frankly, I like that stuff. So overall, I'm gonna give this video, with, uh, this game a one. And not only am I gonna give it a one, I'm gonna highly recommend you thumbs up and check out the description box below because like I said, I'm gonna to try to find the version to this one. If not, I'm going to leave a cheaper version below so you guys could enjoy Triaminos and save at the same time. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Can't wait to see you guys next week on the next game review. Bye.